Honey Heart C. Hello, mini fans. Today we are doing a Briar Craft video. We're going to be painting a My Dream Horse. But this isn't just any horse that you get to paint. It's a very special horse. We're going to be painting 3D paint by number. How cool is that? These horses are really, really awesome. Whew! You can see the horse is pretty easy to follow along. To paint a beautiful Appaloosa, the horse is going to have numbers already on it. So all we have to do is just take our paintbrush and follow along number by number. How easy is that? I mean, it's never been easier to paint a horse. You don't even have to try. You just have to count. Oh, it looks like we got some items in here. We've got our paint pots and we've got three paint brushes. It looks like we might have three different size paint brushes too. Perfect. That will definitely be handy. We've got our 3D instruction booklet that explains you very easily how to do this. Oh, here's a little step-by-step -step exactly how the horse is going to turn out. You guys, I'm so excited. And then here is the model inside. Yes, now it is all wrapped up in bubble wrap because this model is very, very special. Unlike any other Briar model, like a classic or a traditional or a stable mate, this one is actually made out of resin. So it's actually very, very heavy. So it's a totally different material. Ooh, look at it all wrapped up. Take off one leg wrap and the next one. Front legs, careful. Ooh, I'll just cut. I wanna make sure it did not break because it is very, very fragile. Ooh, and now the head. Yes, perfect. So it says inside of the book that number one starts with the white creamy color and it goes all the way to the black. Oh no, but wait a minute. The white actually starts as the third color in. How do you know which one is number one? Wait a minute, is this, is this one number one? This might be number one. Each paint tub is numbered below to match the numbers on the model. Oh, but this isn't numbered. Well, you can see all the numbers etched into the horse's body so you can actually see the numbers here. We can see on the very front of the booklet here, the horse's blaze is going to be white. Same thing with most of its butt and its tail. So that's saying color number four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so number four is what? Okay, so this must be color number one, two, three, four, five. Not how the colors are in the booklet. Now this booklet is saying it works best to paint the larger areas of the horse first, but if I remember correctly, correctly. Woo, if you see these beautiful horses in the background, uh-huh. I painted these as well. These two were also paint by number horses. If I remember right, it was easier to paint the smaller patches first because I think I accidentally painted over some of the smaller ones whenever I painted the larger patches. We should kind of just do area by area. So it looks like the hooves do not actually have a number engraved on them, but the booklet actually shows them as gray. So we'll take our paintbrush. Oh no! Kind of flick the bristles around. Oh no, the bristles got a little crazy on this one. Kind of twist them, dip it in some water, kind of put all the bristles back together or just cut the little scraggly ones. Whoop. Take a mix of a tiny touch of black and white. Mix together to get my gray color. And now paint the unnumbered hooves. Surprise, the hooves are not numbered. Next on the legs, it looks like the color is, you can see it right here, number three. One, two, three, that's the black paint. So we will paint this whole region, number three, black. This leg also has a number three, so we're gonna paint this one black too. I'm just gonna trim my paintbrush again, just a little bit more. Now we'll go into another color. It looks like we've got number one right here. And I think that's a number one right here as well. Ooh, it looks like that color was actually surrounding a number five. And we got two fives on this part. One, two, three, four, five. I see two more number fives. Might as well get them painted. So we'll paint number five here and here. Might as well, since we got the paint out already. Ooh, wait a minute. We've got a really big number five that goes all the way across the horse's back right there. I think we should just go for it. Okay, let's paint this big number five. So it just crosses over right here.
Ooh, now we're going up, up, up the neck, right next to the mane. And it looks like it just kind of stops right here at the back of the horse's head. Yep, because the numbers change on the horse's ears. But five still crosses all the way over the horse's back, all the way to this side of the horse. Ooh, we got a lot of number five. And then, of course, I can go over any area a second time to get rid of any streakiness and to really darken up that color. So I'm just gonna go over number five again. Here we go, even out all of that color. Perfect. So let's start filling in some of these little Appaloosa spots with color number one. Got a whole bunch of little spots that just kind of go all the way down here. And of course, the other side. Gotta add those spots on too. Oh, it looks like I've got some more little fives right here. So I'll paint these little spots in. And this one is a number five. Oh, we got a five right here. We even have some little fives right here as well. Might as well just paint them in. Now let's start painting in this white area right here. So gonna be number four, which is gonna be the white color. Now I just wanna take my time going around these spots, but this whole entire white patch needs to be painted. Right, that is looking so good. Oh, I see another number four right here on the sock. And a number four right here. It looks like we've got an even smaller sock on this side. And a number four right here on the blaze. Ooh, we got a one spot right here. And actually, it looks like this whole area is a number one. So go in, paint it up. And what you do to one side, whoop, turn around and do it on the other. Let's see, is there another number one? Yep, same spots. We got one right here and right here. Ooh, this number one actually goes into this really big patch over here too. Whoa, look at how far it squiggly wigglies all the way up the horse's neck. Oh, look at this, it even goes even on this side of the horse here. Got a big giant number one spot here that's gonna reconnect with this neck piece on this side. Ooh, so much to paint. This is so cool. We're covering so much area now. Woo, that was so much of painting of number one. Ah, wait a minute, we got a little piece right here. Woo, all right, we got it, we got it. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna paint a second coat. That way it's not so splotchy. You can see it's kind of a little bit splotchy here on this side, so I'll just go in with my second coat here. Yep, there we go, and smooth out all of that paint. No splotchy splotchy here, uh-uh. Ooh, this horse is looking so cool. Look at that pattern already. All right, what else do we have? Looks like we've got number two. This is also a really, really big, big piece. It's gonna go all the way around the horse, all the way around here, and its whole entire belly is all gonna be number two. You guys, this is so relaxing, painting this horse by number. I mean, you don't even have to think nothing. You just sit back, relax, and just start painting. Here we go, paint the stomach. We got the number two right there. Woo!
Oh, this color is making me so hungry. It is actually like the color of chocolate. Let's finish off these legs too. So this part is number three. We've got black. Now the back hooves also don't seem to have a number, but from the picture you can see that they're actually like a natural color with some little stripes. So let's just go in and mix a tiny bit of this tan color with some white. Just kind of mix it up and get like a natural hoof color. There we go. And just paint that color on. Look at how amazing this horse is turning out. So now we have its body all painted. Now we need to start working on her face. So it looks like we've got some color that's kind of creeping up her neck here. We've got a number two. This color is now really gonna finish off the rest of her body color. Got a few teeny tiny spots of number two as well, right on the horse's eye. So I'm gonna switch over to one of the other paint brushes that I haven't even used yet. This one's a little bit smaller and it's very pointy. Take some of my paint. So this should make it a lot easier to paint this horse's eye now. For this whole entire project, I've only been using the one paintbrush. This is the only time I've changed it over to a different size. Oh, we can't forget about the number two spots right behind her ears, too. So paint the back of her ears. All right, I think that's all of the number twos that have been painted on her. Ah, wait a minute, it's number two inside of her ear, too. Now let's go in and get some of these smaller spaces. So number five, got this light brown, and just fill them in. Oh, wait a minute, we got a number five right here, too, right by her eye. Oh, it looks like we got a number six right on the muzzle. Now the only number that's left on the horse's face is number one. Looks like the horse's face is completely painted. The body has been painted. The only thing left to do now is paint the horse's mane and tail. So the tail's got two colors. We've got four for this part and then the little tiny three right there for just a little highlight piece. Color number four is white. And color number three is black. Ooh, how cool is this tail with it being half black and half white? And it looks like the mane is a number three, too. So now the last little detail I wanna do is I wanna try to put these little stripes on the hooves. Let's mix up some white with a touch of black to make a little gray. And on my brush, very carefully, just try to paint in those stripe details. Uh-oh, got away from me a little bit there. There we go. All right, mini fans, let's check it out. Let's see what this new Appaloosa looks like. Whoa, yes! You guys, this was so much fun. And you know what? This Appaloosa looks so cool as a paint by number horse. These are so fun and just so easy to do. So I really enjoyed painting this horse. I think she actually looks so incredible. Seriously, this is really cool. I mean, it's kind of cool just to see a horse painted so differently like this and how heavy she is just makes her like feel really amazing as well because she's made out of that resin. Now, of course, if you wanted to, I could leave her like this or I could repaint over her again and again and again. You can really do anything you want with a DIY project. Everything is all up to you. All the creativity is in your hands. But I hope you horse crazy mini fans enjoyed this video. Make happiness number one in your life and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye mini fans!
All right, you guys, who remembers? What part of this 3D horse did I paint first? Was it her mane, her hoofs, or her little Appaloosa spots? Ah, me!